Hey guys, welcome to Tick Back Time. My name is Leonard and today I'm going to show you two different ways on how you can achieve patina on your bronze pieces. So patina is actually similar to rust on steel. It is a, a layer that forms uh, upon oxidization of the surface metal with the air and the moisture. And why, you know, why, why is it that uh, we're we are, we are trying to hasten this process? You know, rust is so disgusting, everybody hates rust. Well, because for bronze, copper, and even brass, um, patina is really seen as uh, what makes that piece unique. It, it gives character to the particular piece. So it, it can, just imagine uh, something that uh, looks like this. You, you won't really be, be, be too attracted to it because uh, it is, uh, well, if, if you want this shiny look, most people just go for gold, right? So bronze, you know, this is, this is a look that uh, some people like and there's nothing wrong with it. But most people, what they prefer is something that looks like this. So as you can see, they, 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 there's some black over here and it's, it's not even. It's, it's definitely not even. So this really creates a steampunk, a rustic vibe. And this is what a lot of us uh, who buy bronze pieces go for. There's a little bit of green forming here as well, as you can see. I'm, I'm not a fan of the greenish patina. So uh, I'm, I'm pretty satisfied with the way uh, this watch uh, ha had turned out. And I, I will be, I'll be discussing two different methods. The first method will be the hard-boiled egg method. So in this clip, you can see how the watch used to look like uh, without the patina. It was very shiny and very blingy, and I wanted to add a little bit more, you know, character to the watch. So what I did was, I placed the watch inside this Ziploc bag with two hard-boiled eggs. So all you have to do now is you just have to smash up the eggs and just uh, try not to let the, the moisture of the bag touch the watch. Uh, you can do this and leave it for around 10 hours or so. What I did was, I left it overnight, uh, and I did this probably a couple of times. So for the liver or sulfur method, you have to uh, do some prep work. What I'm doing here is I've set up two tubs of water. The first tub, I'm going to mix uh, some baking soda into it. And this will be useful uh, after you have achieved the, the desired uh, level of patina. You have to dunk your watch into this solution. And the reason why is because uh, even when you remove your watch from the, from the patina solution, it will continue to patina with the air if uh, you don't really rinse it out properly. So baking soda is a very effective method to stop the patina from continuing. And over here, what I have is uh, the liver or sulfur extended life gel. This gel is supposed to be able to, to have a longer shelf life as, con as compared to the, the liver or sulfur rocks that uh, some others use. It is also very easy to, to, you know, to mix up. And uh, now I'm just uh, trying to uh, achieve the desired level of, uh, of yellowness in the solution. I've done this a few times, so I kind of know how yellow the solution has to be. Uh, you may have to trial and error with this. What I want is really a darker, blacker shade. So I'm going to do this again. I, I, I'm speeding up the video here because it's a very long process of dunking, checking, dunking again, leaving it in. And you know, this, this is something that you really have to play around with. There's a lot of trial and error. There's no uh, surefire way uh, that will work for everybody. So it's something you just have to try. So this is the, 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 the kind of patina that I, I would like to have on my hammerhead. So now that I've reached the desired level, I dunk it in the baking soda solution. So same goes for the buckle. I'm just waiting for it to get a little bit more black. Okay, so now I dunk both of it, the buckle as well as the watch, into the solution. And now all you have to do is you just have to rinse it off. So leave it in the solution for probably 30 seconds or so. Uh, rinse it off with some water. Um, and you, you just have to leave it out to dry after this. So it's very important that you don't uh, start to, to, to put it back on the strap, start to do your, 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 your tiny polishing to achieve those highlights immediately because the patina now is still quite fragile. So I'm just going to leave it on these paper towels. Uh, as you can see here, it's really a lot blacker, a lot darker than before, which is really what I'm looking for. 
So after this dries off completely, I will use the polishing cloth to really achieve uh, the accents that I want on the edges and uh, you know really have that uh, 3D more natural feel. So after all of that, you're probably going to ask me why is this watch so shiny still? And well, you know, the reason why is because uh, this whole process of, of achieving patina or forcing the patina on your watches, th these are very random processes. You're not going to be able to, to duplicate uh, uh, the end result exactly every single time. So what happened was, after you saw that state uh, in the previous video, I, 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 I thought I wanted a darker, deeper shade of black. So what I did was uh, I, I soaked it in level sulfur again and it became too black. So in order to remove the patina, I used the Cape Cod cloth. For those of you who are unfamiliar, uh, you can hit up Google and it is this very popular polishing cloth. Uh, and I, I used it on this uh, Zello's hammerhead. So after I polished it, I tried it again but it totally failed, you know. Um, I, I, I used the liver of sulfur method, I used the hard boiled egg method but all that came out was this silvery, um, pinkish, greenish, iridescent hue. So why, why did that happen? Well, I, I, I sought the advice of some members on the Facebook group. I think it's the Brass and Bronze Watchers group. Um, and they informed me that because Cape Cod cloth, after you use it, it leaves behind this protective film, which uh, sort of uh, hinders the patina process. So I, I wasn't able to achieve uh, the false patina look again. So the advice was to rinse it off with uh, ketchup, toothpaste, lemon juice and baking soda. You know there are a few different methods on how you can remove patina. So for this watch, I, I had to take a Cape Cod cloth to it again because there, was, there were a lot of stains even though I tried the baking soda plus lemon solution. It, it removed most of it but it left behind a lot of splotches. So I had to use the Cape Cod cloth to clean it up again. So after I did that, what I did was I used toothpaste, which was another method that was suggested uh, on how to remove patina. And I ran it all over ho hoping that, you know, I, I will be able to remove all of the protective layer for the, that, that has been left behind by the Cape Cod cloth. So I don't know, I'm, I'm going to leave it now for now. I'm going to let it uh, patina naturally a little bit first. I realized that uh, if you use the liver or sulfur method on a watch that has already a sort of base patina coat, it really will come out a little bit better. It, it won't be so artificial looking. So my last tip on, on patina ring watches is that after you use these methods, you will want to use a, a, a rag, you can use a microfiber towel with a little bit of toothpaste and really go on the edges. Alternatively, you can also use a jeweler's uh, polishing cloth, those uh, cloths that you can use to pol polish your silver pieces. So that's really up to you what you want to do. But uh, in order to get this sort of um, look, sometimes you will have to use uh, the, some, some sort of cloth to get rid of the excess patina. But only do so after the pat patina has set and formed for around, I would, I would give it at least two or three hours. Because when the watch just comes out of the hard boiled egg uh, you know, bag or the liver or sulfur solution, the patina is pretty fragile and you can easily wipe away. So give it some time before you start polishing the edges. So I hope this video has been very useful to you guys who are thinking of patinaing your watch. Please let me know in the comments how it turned out for you.